Every single Gazan citizen has lost a family member. Why? Because the families in Gaza are so interconnected. That means that their entire bloodline, their family line, their family tree is so large that of the 30,000 people that died in Gaza throughout this war of six months, from October 7th to today, have affected almost everybody. But it has affected more than others. And as the deaths go up and Israel becomes more targeted in its strikes and sending out raids to get specific terrorists instead of just bombing, right? They've switched their entire mode of operation to please the world, even though the rest of the world does not work like that. Israel has specifically gone out of its way, putting its own soldiers in harm's way in order to minimize as many civilian casualties as possible making it a historic less than one civilian per terrorist killed. But because now all the terrorists are dying or terrorist adjacents, the leaders of Hamas, the Politburo, and the commanders on the ground are losing tons of family members, which means Ishmahania has lost his three sons in the war in Gaza. But he doesn't care, obviously. He doesn't care about the Palestinians. He doesn't care about the terrorists. He doesn't even care about his own children. But not just Ishmael Haniya, who lost his three sons, many other terrorists, high-ranking commanders in Hamas have lost their own family members, not one, not two, not even five, sometimes even a dozen, because they bring their whole family tree into Hamas and they fight this war. And when Israel is taking out terrorists after terrorist after terrorist, the ones who lose the most family members are the high ranking terrorists whose family members all make up a huge part of Hamas.